Ouch, yeah, I'm out here. Yeah. It is spring, it's time to get going. So I have not fertilized yet, but I am gonna drop some gypsum. I'll be using the gypsum this year to kind of lower my pH a little bit. I'm at a 7.1, so talking with the guys over at the Grass Factor, they recommend that I drop some gypsum. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna use the Stay Green Fast Acting Gypsum. Put that down, get that going, get that working. I don't plan on fertilizing for at least another week or so. And my front yard is being treated completely different this year than the rest of the yard. It's like got some serious compaction going on over there. So I'm hoping that the gypsum is really gonna help with that. And I'm also only gonna apply ammonium sulfate over there. Um, this bag says it covers 5,000 square feet. So the instructions say to put it down at 25 pounds per 5,000. I'm not treating 5,000, I'm only treating 3,000. So I'm gonna put 15 pounds of this down in 3,000 square feet of my lawn. So I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there was a lot of like dust coming up as I was pushing that spreader, which is why I made sure to wear this. Um, that dust can be really hazardous to your health, so always wear a mask for that. Now, what I'm gonna do next, uh, the gypsum says that, you know, apply it to dry grass. It's a little bit of dew on my grass, but it says water it in for 30 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is water it for 30 minutes, but I'm also gonna use this time to measure my irrigation because this will be the first time I've run the irrigation since I got it turned on. So I wanna know what the output is, and this is the perfect opportunity because I have to run it for 30 minutes and let's see how much each area is actually getting in 30 minutes. It was windy that first day I recorded this, but I have done the 30 minute test. And here's my first cup. So if you can see that, that's not very much in 30 minutes. Um, it's less than an inch. It's about a quarter inch in 30 minutes, just in this one area. So, but it's still good information, a quarter inch. So I know that I probably, if I wanna get like a half an inch, obviously I have to run the uh, irrigation for a whole hour just to get a half an inch. But what happens is I'll run it multiple times during the week to get that inch to two inches of water into the yard. Sun is right above me, so I apologize for the glare. But I wanted to show you a comparison of another section in the yard. This cup barely got anything. So I know I have an issue right here in this spot. So what I'll probably do, I have a couple of sprinklers that I can you know, uh, focus on just this area because my, there's no way, there's barely anything in there. And there's no way I'm gonna run my irrigation system for hours and hours and hours just, just to get something in this cup. So um, I have to improvise and bring out something extra. Last year, Simple Lawn Solutions sent out these really cool boxes uh, for, for their new product reveal. And it was so cool that I didn't want to throw it away. So I found a good use for it. I actually keep my gauges in here now. It's it's perfect for it. These are it's, it's 20 of them. They fit in here, they fit in this box. I get to keep the cool box and look nice and neat up there on my shelf. So thank you, Simple Lawn Solutions. <laughs> I bet you didn't know these were gonna still come in handy. Always clean the sidewalks when you're done. Also be kind to your equipment and get that cleaned up after each application.